Well, like our archaeologists do a lot other than excavating sites. Like I said, we, we spend a lot of time in, our, in the library reading about different cultural instances in the, his, in the current time or in, in history or in prehistory. Um, we also spend a lot of time in the laboratory, so we're actually analyzing all these, th these things. So anything from looking at potsherds in very specified ways that I do, to looking at DNA, uh, um, to looking at uh, faunal bones in more, in more detail. So there's all sorts of science, there's a lot of laboratory work that's involved as well. And in fact, a lot of the work going on today has to do with kind of low impact archaeology where we're trying to save sites and materials for the future. And so there's a lot of techniques being developed that really minimize the amount of excavation, a lot of surface uh, kinds of investigations, new kinds of geophysical uh, surveying techniques. When we do our archaeological research, we're empowering certain people by finding a history or describing a history. And sometimes it's, it's not empowering, sometimes it can uh, disenfranchise a certain group. So you have to be careful on that and it's doing proper outreach to really understand the community um, through ethnography and other forms of, of uh, inclusiveness. We also go out and educate, which I think is something um, oftentimes people don't kind of give us that credit for, that we educate the public on things they may have known and things they may not have known. You can't be an archaeologist today and just work by yourself. Not only do you have people that are part of these larger teams, these research teams, but also their collaborative efforts where you're working with people of different uh, communities, different stakeholders, and uh, that in itself is, uh, can be challenging, but it can really, really be refreshing and uh, very insightful. At our site, we had a lot of visitors come through, so half of the day was excavating and half of the day was explaining what we were doing when they weren't there. The construction of narratives and, and sort of telling stories about the places where we work is, is an archaeological task. Nobody else can do that um, in the way that we can. So I think getting information out of sometimes very hard to, to understand data or very fragmentary data and then pu pulling it together into a story that tells what happened in a place. That's what archaeologists do. I mean, the digging is just a, a little tiny part of it. We make videos, we make websites, we make, um, we do a lot of photography, we do a lot of recording of um, archaeological excavations, not just through digging, but also through photographing and writing and drawing plan maps. Um, we also do a lot of lab work and a lot of reading, um, and we spend a lot of time in the library. Well, excavation of a site is really only one very, very small part. Anybody who's been an archaeologist will tell you that while it may be a fun thing because there's all that excitement about what are you going to find next, actually a lot of excavation is pretty boring and it's just moving a small amount of dirt a little bit at a time. And then of course you have to ask yourself, what do you do with the stuff that you find? What do you do even with the levels of soil that you find? Because even those have to be dealt with. They're not even artifacts in our normal sense of the word. And then, of course, we have to write it up, and we have to make interpretations, and we have to make presentations, and we have to teach classes, and we have to deal with local governments, and we also have to work with the local people in all sorts of ways to um, help them understand what's going on in their backyards if we happen to be there, and we have to deal with um, you know, the people that govern uh, antiquities and research and so forth all around the world. So if excavation were all that there were to it, most of us probably wouldn't be archaeologists.